It's a Minimalist Monday edition of Optimal Finance Daily. Episode 666, The American Dream Does Not Cost $130,000 Per Year by Joshua Becker of becomingminimalist.com. And I am Dan, I'm your host here on the show where I read to you from some of the very best blogs on personal finance. I narrate articles from Mr. Money Mustache, I Will Teach You to Be Rich, Get Rich Slowly, Budgets Are Sexy, and many more, a lot like a gigantic ongoing audiobook that is free of charge to you. So today I've got a post from Becoming Minimalist, which is typically narrated on one of our other podcasts, Optimal Living Daily. So to hear a lot more from Joshua, you can check out that show by searching for Optimal Living Daily wherever you're hearing this. Before we get to today's post, hiring is challenging, but there's one place you can go where hiring is simple and smart. That place is ZipRecruiter, where growing businesses connect to qualified candidates. Try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash OFD. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Now let's get right to our post as we start optimizing your life. The American Dream Does Not Cost $130,000 Per Year by Joshua Becker of BecomingMinimalist.com Recently, USA Today published a report estimating the American dream now costs $130,000 a year to attain. Based on these figures, only one out of eight American families are living the dream. Yours truly would be excluded. To compute the numbers, the author determined first to define the American dream. Based on surveys and interviews, the American dream became defined as, quote, economic security, finding and pursuing a rewarding career, leading a healthy and personally fulfilling life, being able to retire in comfort, and opportunity for their children to live a better life, end quote. All good things. With this as the goal, the actual cost of the American dream was parsed into several broad categories. The essentials, housing, food, transportation, medical, and utilities, totaling $58,491. Extras, things like vacation, entertainment, eating out and communications, totaling $17,009. And taxes and savings, things like taxes, college savings, and retirements, those totaled $54,857. Yearly income required for security, health, fulfillment, comfortable retirement, and opportunity for your offspring, $130,357. The article has continued to grow in popularity since its publication. It has been shared via social media thousands of times and has been reprinted in countless publications around the world, Detroit, Seattle, New Orleans, and Great Britain, just to name a few. This is unfortunate, not only because the article is untrue, but because it is harmful. For starters, consider the math, the notion that a family of four must own a $275,000 home, drive an SUV, spend $5,000 on summer vacation, and eat $315 worth of food every week is foolishness. The presumption that security and fulfillment and happiness can only be found in the ownership of these luxuries is a shameful misrepresentation of our heart's greatest desires. I know countless people who live fulfilled and content lives on far less, all the while planning on a comfortable retirement and providing opportunity for their children. Nevertheless, it is not the math that worries me so much and prompted this public response. Instead, it is the unintended or maybe intended consequence of this article. And my only hope is that these words will find their way into the minds of those who need to read them. The bold proclamation that an annual income of $130,000 is required for the American dream carries with it serious consequences. One, it breeds discontent. Seven out of eight American families are being told their lives would be more fulfilling if they had more money. As a result, our standards become redefined. While we may have been living a perfectly content life with far less annual income, we are forced to reconsider the possibility that we may be missing the really good life, and even worse, that we may never fully attain it. Two, it breeds jealousy and envy. Seven out of eight American families are left out of the American dream, left only to wish and dream it could be theirs. Soon, comparison begins to settle in our minds. The presence of bigger houses, faster cars, and corner offices become more apparent than ever before, and we begin to ask ourselves, why do they get to live the American dream and not us? Jealousy has taken root. 
And three, it breeds resentment. When jealousy and envy take hold of a heart, resentment is soon to follow. Not only do we wish we had what they had, but we soon become bitter towards those who have more. And whether we are in the 87.5% or the 99%, resentment will always steal more joy from us than it will from the other person. The American dream does not require 130K a year. To claim that it does is to grow discontent, jealousy, and resentment in many American families. Indeed, this article harms us as individuals, and it harms us as a nation because it is based on a faulty definition of the American dream. Every summer, we celebrate Independence Day in America. Towns and cities all across our great republic are united in their celebration. 250 years ago, our forefathers stood up against what they believed to be unfair laws and unfair taxation without representation. These are the words they chose to boldly declare their independence on July 4th, 1776. Quote, We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men. End quote. This, then, is the American dream. It always has been and must continue to be so that each of us would be allowed to experience life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and government would not stand in the way of these pursuits. As Americans, we are free to pursue our own happiness, however we decide to define it, in whatever lawful manner we desire. And those of us who have chosen to define happiness and security apart from $250,000 mortgages and SUVs in the garage are free to do so, because there are greater and more important pursuits available to us than material possessions. This is the American dream, and it costs far less than 130K a year. You just listened to the post titled The American Dream Does Not Cost $130,000 Per Year by Joshua Becker of becomingminimalist.com. And thank you again to ZipRecruiter for sponsoring this episode. Hiring used to be hard. Multiple job sites, stacks of resumes, a confusing review process. But today, hiring can be easy and you only have to go to one place to get it done. ZipRecruiter.com slash OFD. ZipRecruiter sends your job to over 100 of the web's leading job boards, but they don't stop there. With their powerful matching technology, ZipRecruiter scans thousands of resumes to find people with the right experience and invite them to apply to your job. As applications come in, ZipRecruiter analyzes each one and spotlights the top candidates so you never miss a great match. ZipRecruiter is so effective that 80% of employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site within the first day. And with results like that, it's no wonder that ZipRecruiter is the highest rated hiring site in America. Right now, my listeners can try ZipRecruiter for free at this exclusive web address ziprecruiter.com slash OFD. That's ziprecruiter.com slash OFD. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. And once again, a reminder that Becoming Minimalist is typically narrated over at Optimal Living Daily since the site typically covers minimalism and personal development type content. So if you want to hear a lot more from Joshua's site being narrated to you for free, check out that show. Again, that is Optimal Living Daily, the original show in our little podcast network. And there are five shows in the network now, and you can listen to any of them and uh, pick whichever topics you're interested in. Simply search for Optimal Living Daily in the podcast app of your choice, and that should get you access to all of our shows. And that's gonna do it for today. Thank you so much for being here and subscribing, and I will see you tomorrow in the Tuesday show, where your optimal life awaits.